Welcome back, guys and gals. Drill Freak Nation, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of that episode. It was really insightful, the CBD oil rage on the PGA Tour and what's happening out there. So we're going to slide into now part two of this episode here with Dr. Jason Yusavage. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Well, let's get to it then. Um, we're looking at strengths and potencies, mm -hmm. okay. Correct. And um, not to get specific with myself, but what's out there? What, what, what's a way to start? A great way to start is to make sure that the product that you're buying is actually the product that you're buying. Uh, a good reputable brand will always have lab results or lab tests that are associated with it. So if, if you're buying a brand that doesn't have um, lab results or lab-based tests, that's something I would start to steer away from. Um, the strengths go you know, anywhere from 300 milligrams to 5,000 milligrams I've seen. And, and I think one thing people get confused on is, is in a, in a, I have a 1,500 milligram bottle in my hand right now, but it's not 1,500 milligrams per serving, it's 1,500 milligrams in the whole bottle. Got so it. each serving, there's 50 servings in a bottle of the product that we use, so each, each serving of a 1,500 would be 30 mi uh, milligrams per serving. So basically doing a little bit of math and figuring it out. Um, I had some people recently come in with a 40 milligram bottle of oil that they spent a lot of money on, and they only got 40 milligrams in the entire bottle, thinking oh, wow. that it was 40 milligrams got of oil. It. Yeah. And, and, and yet you could still control that by the dropper Correct. if you want to start you know, you yep. know, nice and low and find, and I know you were the one who suggested this, find a strength that you find. It really, really does the job, and I know I have, uh, me personally, I've, I've found that. So that's something, again, that, that the consumer can look at. Yeah, everyone metabolizes things differently in their system. So some people, and you know this to be true, like so you're very sensitive to things. So yes. like you don't take, if you're going to take an Advil, you take one Advil or, or two Advil on a horrible day, where some people can take eight to 10 Advil and not feel any effects whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to depend on you and how your body metabolizes these things. So it's sometimes 10 milligrams, five milligrams in the morning, five milligrams at night is the sweet spot. Sometimes not so much. I have people that are taking 30 milligrams in the morning and 30 milligrams at night, um, and they're looking to bump it up a little bit. And these could be right. people in really significant amounts of pain, or if you're taking pain medications or you're on different medications in the past, this may be something that you have to look at taking a little bit larger of a dose. Got it. So, yeah. so on the PGA Tour, I'll kind of go back yeah. uh, where we started from. You, there's guys like Bubba Watson, who Correct. has been a big endorser, Scott McCarron. Yep. And there are so many Champions Tour players and PGA players so what I've read, and we talked about this off camera, that you know they're taking it for a bunch of reasons. You know, yeah. from from a standpoint of well, it's taking the inflammation down. It's it's for arthritis. A lot of them have talked about sleeping. Correct. Saying well, this helps them get a really good night's sleep. A lot of these guys use sleep machines to to show, just like you know, baseball players, yeah. how much sleep and what type of sleep that they're getting. So um, that's an advantageous thing right there, just in itself, you know, what it's used for. But I, there's more out there that it could be used for, I'm sure, as we get going. But from, from a golfer's standpoint, I mean, anyone with injuries, mm -hmm. you, would, you would say, for right? Sure. For yeah, sure. And, for then, sure. and then, of course, there's the, the anxiety part. I think that more so with our professional tour players especially. But let's just think about the average Joe. You know me in my golf history, and, and I stopped playing because of an injury a while ago. But... Um, one of my biggest problems was first tee stuff and, and just getting off the first tee, that anxiety that you have mm -hmm. on a daily basis of going out to the course and like you're worried about it, worried about it, and that could ruin and spoil your whole round. Um, people have been noticing that CBD oil has reduced their anxiety in their everyday life. So to translate that over into golf, um, just from the normal everyday person coming up to, to play their weekend round or you know whatever they're doing, it can kind of probably help them feel better about that. To the tour professional who they're taking beta blockers and heart medication um, to help reduce their, their heart rate so that they don't get all hyped up during certain moments on the tour. Um, taking all that medication can have dramatic effects, a cumulative effect as you go on. You know, you have 22-year-old golfers are taking heart medication that they don't need uh, could lead to bad things, which is what leads you back to like a, like a CBD or oils like that. So if you could take um, the oils, which is this, is I'll just show this like off, off camera. If you guys can see, they're just, it's just basically oil in a glass, yeah, right? A little dropper. Yeah, a little dropper. And it comes in a bunch of different forms. And you'll hear people talk about um, a bunch of different things, like they're taking edibles, um, they're chewing gum, gum right. yeah, like a bunch of different things. And, and most of the time, this is when you have to watch out. Most of the time, those, those things come in the form of isolate. So isolate CBD is just CBD pulled off of the, the hemp leaf, or when you're getting the, the oils from the hemp plant, it, it doesn't just come just with cannabidiol. 
there's other things, they're cannabinoids, that's what they're called. So inside of the hemp plant, there's different ones. CBD is cannabidiol, there's CBC, there's CBG, there's CBDA, which is another hugely important one. And THC is another cannabinoid, it just doesn't have it in the hemp plant. So like there's different little um, enzymes and terpenes and other things in this, in, in full spectrum CBD oil. Um, and this is kind of going back to the different types. Isolates isolate just the CBD. So if you're someone that wants to take CBD oil, but you can't because you have a job, you're in law enforcement, you're in the military, you, if you test positive for your workplace, you would get fired, whatever right, it may be. Right. Um, the isolate is what you would like to take, and you have to be able to trust that isolate. So if you're buying it, I just we, we just saw someone basically on uh, did this. We saw this in, in a help group on Facebook where they went and bought product from, a, I think it was a grocery store or a gas station. They were taking the product. It was helping them out. Um, but when they had it tested, they actually took it to a lab to have it tested. It came up that it had like 16 to 18% THC in the wow. product. And they're buying it at a local convenience store where it's not legal. So it, certainly if that person was a military or a police and they tested positive, the military police yep. is not going to say, right. well, we understand you're taking CBD. So make sure that y your, your company has lab results. A, a g every good company would, you know. Got so. it. Got it. No, that, th this is all great. So... I'm not, I know, Doc, you have some other products yeah. here. Real quick, if we can just sh show them and... and okay. um, so, so like anything, like, you know, if anyone has used like Asper cream or like an, a BioFreeze, like we use BioFreeze here in the office a lot, it, it comes with, there's a roll on. This is um, the deep healing pain cream with emu oil, which is super, it's amazing to absorb into your skin. So locally, if you have someone, and everyone has golfer's elbow at some point if you play golf, um, before the round, if you want to rub it on, it gives a, a nice soothing feeling. Nice, yeah. Um, and there is a little bit of CBD. There's a hundred milligrams in this whole bottle. So it's not like you're, you're, if you're going to use the dropper, it's not like you're going to overdose on CBD because right. there's not that much right. of it in it. Um, but there's rubs. This is a spray. So, you know, people have their sleep sprays and there's anxiety sprays and there's pain sprays and there's edibles and gummies. M my, my, Biggest tip would be to find um, an oil that you put under your tongue, a sublingual dropper, because that'll kind of cover all the bases. Right. And then if you're still having trouble at night falling asleep, you can use a sleep spray um, on top of that before you go to bed. But Got just it. know where you're getting it from and, and what you're buying. Well, all right, so Drill Freak Nation, I hope you guys were as educated as I have been today. Uh, Doc, I want to thank you again very thank much you. for explaining some of this. And I think I think it'd be kind of cool to come back to this again because I really have a funny feeling that the PGA Tour is going to start making uh, some, I don't want to say changes, but they're going to look into this a little bit further. Maybe we can come back a little bit more and see what else is going on in the realm of CBD oil and how it affects golfers and, in fact, anybody, not mm, just golfers. But, sure. again, this being all things relevant to golf, our video blog. Drill Freak Nation, we're going to catch you guys again. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for all the emails that we get, and we will see you guys soon.